If you happen to be a videographer, a YouTuber or a photographer, I'm sure you would have run out of space once in a while on the disks installed on your desktop or laptops. I have a desktop that I used for my video recordings and I'm also trying to archive some of the videos that, that I've been creating. I've been creating videos on YouTube for around a year now. Primarily I create for an India based Hindi channel, uh, which is finance based videos. Uh, but I'm also creating some tech based videos uh, now as well and when I'm trying to archive my videos I'm running out of space and that's why I have uh, taken this I bought this new uh, Western Digital uh, 2, BB, uh, 2 TB uh, hard disk drive which will act as my backup drive to uh, to archive all the videos that I have I've transformed into the YouTube videos and published them already. I already have got three disks installed on my PC right so there are two disks which I have uh, installed as SSDs. One is a NVMe Sam Samsung NVMe SSD 970 Evo, which is which is really great. It's a 500 GB. The other one is Kingston uh, ASA 400, which is 240 GB. And I've run out of space of, on both of them. They are just uh, uh, 6 GB or 5 GB empty on, on each of them. I also have an old hard disk drive of around 300 gigs. Uh, but then again, it's too slow for, for my liking. So I'm going to be using this particular uh, hard disk drive. I've taken the purple color one. I've not taken the green or the blue one. Well, they're also good for day to day operations, but this one should really be good. Typically, these are used for uh, surveillance, um, uh, for surveillance purposes or in, in your uh, camps where you need to be installing, uh, where, where you need to do the surveillance all around. And that means that they are configured or they have been uh, optimized for a lot of write space. So this here you have got the Western Digital 2TB hard disk drive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on my PC and uh, after that after installing we'll format the PC we'll see how it gets configured how much space actually comes it should be less than 2TB how much less it is we'll look into the video and thereafter we'll also do the benchmark test I've already recorded the benchmark test of my other drive so by C drive which is the Samsung Evo D drive which is the Kingston and E drive right now is what what my whole old hard disk drive is and uh, let's go ahead and install this in the pc then run the benchmark and then we'll see whether there is an improved whether they, whether there is a performance improvement or not and how does this fare against the sds so let's get started with that so here's my desktop i'm gonna open the cover and i'm gonna take out the part where uh, i'm gonna be installing this hard disk drive so let's just open the screw of this. Make sure that you have turned off the PC and uh, removed its power cable so that there is no shock. There's no, uh, there's no way how you can get shock or uh, there can be no electric shortcut. So this is where my hard disks I have installed. So the old hard disk as well as uh, one of the uh, Kingston drives is what, what I have installed over here. So I'm gonna remove this casing where I have uh, one of the hard disk drive or the hold hard disk drive um, installed. This is the SATA port and the other one is the power cable. So I'm going to remove those so that there's no problem in, in terms of uninstalling this drive. Let me just pull it. And here you can see this is my old uh, Seagate drive. I don't know how old this has been uh, if it is has got any year written on it no so it is 320 gigs and uh, i'm gonna replace this with our western digital hard drive that i have just purchased and uh, then i'll install it so let me just quickly unscrew this and install this one so i have now removed the old drive and i have put this in the casing and you can see that we need to now uh, put the cables over here so the setup port uh, cable the power from where the power is going to come is going to go over here and the data cable will go over there and now I'm going to install this by just first plugging in uh, the SATA cable okay let me first put this in the slot
and this is the data cable port so I've installed both of these just make sure that the connections are tight and then we'll just uh, close the cover and we'll just get our windows started from here. So if we now go and uh, have a look at our desktop, we can see that we can still see the two disks which were already there. My C drive, which is the Samsung Evo disk and the D drive, which is the Kingston uh, SSD. I don't see the newly installed uh, disk because we have not yet formatted it and made it available. And what you need to do is you need to go to the disk management. And uh, when you are in disk management, let's, let's let that load. We can see that it is saying that you must initialize a disk uh, before uh, this can be accessed. And we'll keep this as GPT and uh, we'll do that as an OK. Okay, now it has come as unallocated, it has uh, come as a disk so, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a volume of this uh, and uh, I'm going to leave this volume as whatever the size is. You can see that it is two terabyte but the MBs are available are lesser than that and that's normal. Uh, it's going to assign the letter. It is by default it is assigning the next available letter which is E in this case uh, and if you want to pick a custom letter over here you can you can do that as well. I will let this be E letter and I'm going to uh, format this. I'm going to format this as NTFS and I'm going to call this as my archive drive and um, I'll do that next. We'll perform a format of this and we'll do a finish and it's asking for a formatting to be done. I'll remove the quick format. I'll do the start because the uh oh it's not doing it. OK, so volume level again, I'll put that as archive. We'll do start. So the capacity you can see is 1.81 TB. It is showing over here. We close this and uh, we can see that uh, now the three drives are indeed available, right? And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do, uh, let's let's go into the uh, my PC. Uh, so this PC, it is showing now the third drive as well and we'll perform a test. As I've said that uh, I've already done the two tests. I will show you the result of that. Uh, in this video itself, but we'll go to Crystal Disk Manager and we'll do the test for the newly installed drive, which is the E drive. What is the read write test that comes? And then we'll do a comparison with the other uh, test that I've done, the test that I've done for uh, the other uh, disks as to how does the read and write test of this disk perform against that. So it has brought the read for uh, read read speed as 196, which is uh, which is okay, uh, I would say. And let's go and look at the write speed. It has come as 192, 92. So this is this is much faster than my previous drive, and uh, I hope that this will serve the purpose what what I'm aiming to get. Uh, so that's what I wanted to cover in this video. That is how uh, I'm going to be using this drive, as I've said, as my backup, as for my archival. Uh, if you want to purchase that, the link will be in the description below. You can go over there and purchase that. And if you have any questions around that, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching and have a great day.